The sugarcane project was implemented in Komazi, South Africa, in Pumalanga province. This project was a collaboration between Solidaridad, the Water Research Commission of South Africa, and TSB Sugar of South Africa through two of its subsidiaries, uh, TS Grow and Akwanze Agricultural Finance. The goal of the project was to increase the irrigation efficiency and effectiveness in the smallholder sector, covering 1,240 farmers. The project started in uh, January of 2015 and ended in December of 2018. A large portion of smallholder farmers in the Malilani area owned farms with under-invested infrastructure. With water being such a critical input to sugarcane farming, the lack of efficient water supply had an immediate and direct negative impact in quality and output of yield amongst small holders. So while in one hand they had inherited land, they also inherited a great responsibility in maintaining infrastructure that would affect their sustainability and future welfare. Kubekonu metu kwa kufalda project ngoba de skati tina si zenzela noma si tendela logu lungusa kwa mpaipe besi tileya sate mavigi ivi ninyanga si salwa kwa lungusa lpaipe and umakufanile si maintaini ma pumps wetu and namba wa soft start taganja halu beku sata skatle siti Sisogoli lega kulu umasi li malape masmini kupuga tinji ni kupamge mapaipi kilebo tu manzi singa tole mandi se ndani se hambas kashabandu bato slungse la la apu ba 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 sasa skanze si se guti ba slungse la la mani ama challenge se si be na o si be ningi nga imfuli ningi nukti lega kumtanga la imfuli singa kuna kuni se la gatle masmini. And then the slope here, we must see the tension. The map pump got on the mand. Because we are among the masmin. And then the matan, the guy is like a cool one. The guy is like a cool matan. And then we go see his car. We spend about three weeks, two months, just in a chilly. The proposed interventions was to increase water efficiency and effectiveness through the improvement in bulk water infrastructure. This boils down to how water is extracted from rivers and conveyed to small holder plots. First point of intervention was to evaluate the state of infrastructure. This included pipes, clusters, valves, routers, pumps, which had gotten old. A key finding in this project was the knowledge gap amongst farmers on how irrigation works. Some farmers had too many sprinklers on their plots, which resulted in over-irrigation and soil erosion. Farmers needed to understand the balance between the right amount of sprinklers at the right pressure, which has a direct impact on use of electricity. A key output in the program was to get farmers to see the value of great infrastructure through evidence-based results. Through this, farmers saw the impact of bulk water improvements through the increase of yield almost immediately, with yields rising to 95 tons per hectare, a 33.8% increase from the previous year. Alongside the technical work, training on governance of cooperatives, leaders' responsibility, statutory obligations like tax, need for annual general meetings and election was done to sensitize the members to their rights and break the cycle of perpetual leadership which often stifles growth. NQF rated sustainability training on the Bonsucro Sugar Standard was also given to development officers. Usisitega kulpa kwa kutoa supplier ngewuti a 
afike la sivuno sami sikupuke kahle kakhulu angicabangi nje ukuthi bali quarters supply ngamyeke la ngitsa kahambe manje ngifisa ukuthi sisebentisane ngisebentisane naye ndokhona kuchubekela phambili ngibenefite njengobe ngibenefitile njengoba afikile kona kufika kwe bali quarters supply kwende ukuthi sikhone kunisela kahle singabi nemastopages wasinceda kakhulu wathenga wasithengela tinjini letisha mara pati yena akangeni phakathi emasimini wathi manje sita wathola 24 hours manje siwathola 24 hours siwathola ngendlela lefanele siyamthanda kakhulu by co water supply angeke simlahle sofala nakafe khona ngoba mathane akuphukile <laughs> okay